Welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Layla if you're new here. Today is Sunday, June 4th and it's currently 9.20 in the morning. Today I woke up and I just wanted to vlog so I'm just going to take you guys through my like Sunday reset routine, what I do on a Sunday to prepare for the week and just kind of relax and unwind. So that's what today's video is going to be. So far today I woke up and I just did my morning skincare and stuff and then I came downstairs and had breakfast. I just had a smoothie and some scrambled egg. Either Saturday or Sunday is normally my rest day and I worked out yesterday so today's gonna be my rest day from working out. I am gonna take my dog for a walk though just because she needs to be walked and also I still like to be active on my rest days. So that is the plan for today. I have just like a few errands to run, some things to do around the house, stuff like that today just to get ready for the week. This is my last week of school and it's actually insane. I'm so so excited. The content this summer is gonna be amazing. I have so much stuff like planned. It's just gonna be so much fun but yeah so that's the plan for today now i'm gonna go get changed into some warmer clothes because for some reason it's freaking cold outside like it has been so cold where i live like it's supposed to be summer like like why is it cold i don't know but i'm getting irritated also sorry if i'm talking with my hands a lot i got my nails done the other day and whenever i get my nails done i just like want to talk with my hands i don't know what it is but yeah right now i'm gonna go change into some warmer clothes and then we're gonna take the dog for a walk get a little nice morning walk walk in and just start the day off right so let's go get ready so for my outfit on my walk i'm just gonna wear this crew neck and some sweatpants because i don't know why it's literally 55 degrees outside and windy today i'm really not feeling like going outside but i need to get some movement and take the dog for a walk so we have to i'm just gonna wear this so that i'm nice and comfy and warm and that is the plan okay so this is the outfit cute comfy i look like i'm in my pajamas but i don't really care i'm gonna go put on my sneakers and get my dog and everything and go for a walk i actually really do like going for walks because they're just so relaxing and it's such an easy way to just get some movement in some like nice low intensity movement normally when i'm on my walks i listen to a podcast that's the plan for the walk i'm gonna go get my shoes get the dog and head out i will see you guys in a bit <laughs> I'm back from my walk. It was actually really nice. The sun is kind of coming out now, so hopefully it'll get sunny and a little bit warmer later because I really want to tan. I haven't gotten to tan in like over two weeks. It's actually insane. I don't know how it's June and I'm still having to fake tan. It just doesn't seem right to me. But anyways, it's like 10.45 now and I need to go get gas and a car wash because I haven't gotten my car washed since January. The inside is still clean because I don't eat in my car or anything, but I do need to get the outside washed and then I think I'm going to clean the inside myself when I get back home. So so that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go get gas and a car wash. So I got my car washed on the outside and it looks so much better now and now I'm gonna clean the inside myself It's really not that bad. There's just like you can't even see it on the camera But there's like sand on the floor and like sand in the seats and there's like crumbs over on my sister's side And then the back seat just has like more sand There's sand in the seats like literally just sand everywhere Here's the little before you literally are not gonna be able to tell a difference But there's like dust up there and just stuff so I'm gonna vacuum it all out wipe everything down and then hopefully it'll look better because i swear the camera's not picking it up but like it needs to be done it hasn't been done in a long time and there's also like just sunscreen on the seats and stuff like my car gets dirty whenever i go to the beach so that's what we're cleaning it up from that's what we're gonna do right now i'm just gonna clean my car and then i'll tell you guys what i'm gonna do next i just finished cleaning my car you can probably tell a little bit it is cleaner it's shinier and there's no sand i'm very happy about that 
out. So the car is clean finally. I've been literally putting that off for weeks, but I haven't had time to like actually go do it, but I finally just got that done. So very happy about that. It literally only took me like 20 minutes. I'm so bad about like, I'll like need to do something, but I think it's gonna take like way longer than it actually will. And so I just keep putting it off. And then like six weeks later, I'm like, I still have to do that thing and I haven't done it. And then I finally do it and it takes like a quarter of the time I think it's gonna take. That's what just happened, yeah. Now I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I really wanna tan and the sun is coming out. So I'm gonna see if it's warm enough. I have to pull my car out of the garage So that's what I'm gonna do right now, but I will update you guys when I'm doing something Okay, so I decided that I want to tan so the first thing I need to do is pick out a bikini This is my bikini drawer. It's very overwhelming. I'm just gonna find a bikini that I want to wear I'm thinking a strapless one just because I have some tan lines I want to get rid of so maybe this top and then the matching bottoms I think this is what I'm gonna go with Okay, so I got my bikini on and everything and I wanted to tell you guys about my two favorite products that I've been using like when I go to tanning or to the beach or whatever you guys have heard me talk about this one a million times but i swear to god i'm never gonna shut up about it because it's that good the sun bum face moisturizer sunscreen like this literally my holy grail it gets you the perfect amount of sun my freckles come out it doesn't make me break out and i don't have to do moisturizer and sunscreen like literally i'll never stop talking about this because it's just the best thing ever and then for your body don't put this on your face is the keratin intensive tanning gel with exotic coconut oil oh my god this gets me tan so dark so fast like literally normally the amount of time it would take me to get tan in like a week in one go with this stuff like it is incredible has a little bit of a funky smell but like oh my god it works incredibly these are my two favorite products for the beach if you guys want me to make a video of like my summer essentials comment down below because i have a ton of things that i swear by for the summer and i want to spread my knowledge so if you guys want that video let me know growing up and living at the beach and like literally spending my entire childhood on the water like has taught me so much and i know i feel like i know a lot of products and a lot of tips and tricks for like how to get tan and not burn and like take care of your hair and like that kind of stuff in the sun because i've just learned over the years i surf a lot we have a boat we're always on the boat in the summer i'm always going to the beach like i live in a beach town that's really all there is to do so i feel like i know a lot of good products and a lot of like tips and tricks so if you guys want me to make a video about that let me know so my groceries are almost delivered i ordered whole foods last night just because i knew i wasn't going to want to have to drive it's like 30 minutes from my house and i didn't want to have to do that today i'll give you guys a grocery haul once that comes in and then we will go tan it's kind of on the chillier side outside right now but the uv is pretty decent it's kind of perfect for tanning so i'm really excited the sun is kind of coming out it's like sunnier than it was but it's not super duper sunny we're gonna go unload the groceries and then we will tan i'm so excited okay let's go also guys something i've been wanting to talk about is i'm getting into reading like i don't know like who is she what's happening what's going on if you know me like in real life you know that i literally don't read i hate school i'm literally like the most freaking adhd like female you will ever meet like it's actually insane and i don't know how but i've been obsessed with like literally sitting down and reading a book for like an hour and a half straight and like i get so engrossed in it the book i've been reading is perks of being a wallflower which is my favorite movie ever Ever, so I think that might be why I like got through it so quickly but I only have a little bit left and I want to order a new book off Amazon but while I'm tanning I want to read something and I do have books on my bookshelf that like I haven't read yet but I just haven't been able to like get into any of them so I'm gonna try and find one that I want to read because I feel like reading and tanning is just like a good way to pass time I'll probably just read this one because I haven't read it yet and I know it's supposed to be really really good I've tried to read this book like four times because it's supposed to be like really motivational or something but, but I haven't been able to like get into it and finish it all the way so I think I'm gonna read The Fault in Our Stars because that's just a classic like I feel like everyone's read that and I haven't read it yet so i'm gonna read that while i tan i think my groceries are literally being dropped off right now so i'm gonna go rush downstairs and open those and show you guys what i got i just opened up all of the groceries and i'm gonna show you guys everything i got i actually got good stuff this week like i'm really excited so i'm gonna show you guys what i got and i just wanted to tell you guys i cannot eat gluten or soy i'm allergic to both of them so keep that in mind with what i'm eating it's all very clean and gut friendly because i have the most sensitive stomach sensitive body that like you will ever encounter it's actually absurd so keep that in mind all of this stuff is very 
gut friendly and gluten free and soy free. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. Got lots of strawberries because everyone in the family eats these. They're really good and it's strawberry season. So literally look how pretty they are. And then I got blueberries because I'm also obsessed with blueberries. Some strip steak because I like to make um, like fajitas with this. A like actual steak to grill for dinner and then a tuna steak to grill for dinner as well. I actually got this to make um, some tuna like fish tacos with and I got these gluten free corn tortillas that have super minimal ingredients that should be really good with it. Um, I got these to try for dessert because I want some like healthy dessert because I do have a sweet tooth but with the summer you know I like to try and eat really healthy and minimize my sugar just because it makes me bloated um and these have really good macros and ingredients so i'm really excited to try them i'll let you guys know how they are rx bars rx bars are a staple in my house they're so good like literally one of my favorite snacks ever so satiating such good macros such good ingredients they're just very yummy popcorn has been a recent obsession of mine i've literally been pounding this stuff like somebody's gonna take it away from me this brand is my favorite it's so good turkey sausage for breakfast um i I got this to try because I saw it on TikTok, honestly, and I was intrigued. So it's just beef and salt and pepper, and it has 10 grams of protein. It's like a beef jerky stick. So I figured I could try this one day for a snack. I got some cuties because they sounded so good and I haven't had them in forever. Peanut butter, this is the only peanut butter I'll eat because it's literally just peanuts. And then some bananas that my mom needed. So that's my haul for the week. It's pretty much everything I'll eat. We do have some stuff here like in the pantry or in the freezer or already in the fridge that I um, didn't have to buy. So this is not like everything I'm eating, but the majority of it. So um, I hope that was helpful. If you guys want me to make like a what I eat in a day or like grocery shopping with me, like my grocery essentials, let me know because I'm so into like wellness and food and all of that. I think nutrition is very important and very interesting. So if you guys want me to talk more about that on my channel, I would love to because that is like one of my favorite things in the whole world so i think at some point during the summer i will definitely film on what i eat in the day just because it's something i've been wanting to do and it's hard when you have school and like i'm packing my lunch and then my whole eating schedule is just like weird during the school year but during the summer it's really good and i get it all straightened out so i'm gonna show you guys what i eat in a day eventually i'm gonna put all of this away into the fridge and then we're gonna go tan i'm so happy if you guys can't tell since the sun's come out my mood is in a complete 180 and i'm a different person now i'm very very in a good mood so let's put this away and then go tan this is that one <laughs>